guys welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a first impression of this little baby here this is the stabilo aqua color pencil set okay so i went to my local art and stationery supply store and i saw this little set there um as you know me i always like to bring to you guys interesting little sets and uh, i saw this and i thought hmm Let's see what this is all about. Now, this is a 24 set of Stabilo Aqua Colors. It's actually a watercolor pencil. And um, I know that this set is sold in sets of 12, 24, and 36. I have not found anything higher than a set of 36. And these are supposed to be fairly decent student grade, to look like kids grade watercolor pencils. And uh, it's, it was actually um, not very you know at my local art and stationery supply store uh, let me cut this light off here see if I could reduce some of the glare here um, it comes in this let me see if I can cut the other light off I think that will help with some of the glare it comes in this box set here okay and on the other side it just reads the below aqua colors water soluble brilliant colors rich color application and it has that in about 10 14 different languages um, everything except Chinese and Japanese on the other side okay so I'm trying to keep these glares to a minimum because the box is pretty glossy so now it has uh, some tape here so I'm just going to remove those okay. let me get this out of this box Here we go. This is how it looks in the box. It's just a you know comes little box. It comes with its point turned down. This is actually the back of the pencil. And uh, let's pull one color out. Now, as you can see, it has that amazing gold front that we all love. Not exactly. Um, it has like an um, embossed number here, 4417. I'm not sure if that's its manufacturer number. It comes with a number code here, 1600 630. I think that's the um, the pigment numbering code. It comes with a little brush set to say that it is a watercolor and it has this stabilo name. It's a hexagonal color pencil. Um, when I read about this, you know I like to Google and this is supposed to be a first impression. This is not a review. Um, when I Google this, it said that the core of this pencil is 2.8 millimeters. So it's not a very thick core pencil. No color name, just the name of the manufacturing company is Stabilo and it's the aqua color written here as you can see. Yeah, that amazing gold front we all love. It has this white cap here and the entire barrel is um, colored or painted with what the color of the pigment is supposed to be so I cannot say what color these are because there's no color identifier for these I am not certain let me see if I can match it with the Carbothello this is 630 I am not certain if this is the same color numbering system as the Carbotello. It doesn't look like it is. So sorry. So if you guys could tell me the the color names of these, you know, send me the link in the description below. I'll be greatly in description now. In the comments below, I'll be greatly appreciative of that. But right now it just has numbers as its identifier. So now let's pull these out of this because to me I feel like this box is torturing you with all this glare. So let me pull this out and see what we're working with. In the front of the box, let me try to move away from this. They just have watercolor pencils, vivid colors, aquarellable, easy coloring. That's it. The name of the company. That's it. So now here's the pencils. Beautiful hexagonal shape. I will be doing a full review of these at a later date, but right now it's just the first impression. Hopefully by then I get color names for these two. I already see something I don't appreciate. I'm not sure if I can show it. Come on guys, focus here, focus. There it is. You see that little slit? 
There's already a crack in my barrel. Don't you see it right there? Oh my gosh. I don't really appreciate that crack. I'm not sure if it's a crack in the paint or a crack in the barrel, but there's already a crack in the in that already. Let's check if any of the other colors have the crack. If it's only that yellow. That's okay, you know. You know, I'm from a third world country. We know how to improvise and fix things. So a little crack in the paint or the barrel of a pencil doesn't scare me. Don't appreciate it, but it doesn't scare me. So now I'm going to put these in some kind of color arrangement that looks nice to me. And then we're going to swatch this out. Okay. I'm just going to swatch out the first one just to get a feel of it. See what the pencil feels. Oh, these are so soft. Wow. These are really soft colored pencils. Extremely soft. Oh gosh, it reminds me almost similar to the Milan Big Lid. The Milan Aquarelle, sorry. That kind of softness. Almost, almost similar to that. Let's see what we're working with when it comes to, sorry, when it comes to pigment. That's a, that's a that's a really nice pigment pigment pullout. I wasn't expecting that. Now this is um mixed media paper that I'm using, and uh, let me finish this up, and then we're gonna come back. Guys, I am finished with my swatching process, and sorry I didn't show you it. I didn't show you for one basic reason. Chiefly because I'm right now filming at night and uh, my eyes are photosensitive, which means they're actually hurting right now because of all the lights that are on. And um, if I would have shown you the filming process to that, I would have had to keep the lights on and, you know, it would have been like, you know, half an hour of just glares and bright lights in my eyes so that's the reason why I didn't show the filming process so I just show you swatching one then I cut the lights off and I swatch the rest but um, first of all I have to say that these were really really soft really soft it felt it's not as soft as Prismacolor it reminds me of the Milan Big Lead maybe the Derwent and I think the Derwent watercolors are even softer than these these have some firmness to it but these are really really soft one thing i could appreciate and if you look at the darker colors like the reds the oranges the blues the greens when you see me do that watercolor effect here there is no ghosting little ghosting of the you know where i swatch the pencil out very little ghosting you know i really have to be very abrasive for you to see ghosting but there is little ghosting it's almost like when you dissolve the ink well in the ink now when you dissolve the pigment in the lead it dissolved completely this is the white on black because this is the white this is actually white here but as you can see you can't see anything so this is actually the white here on black and you can see how beautiful that looks how that does swatch out of course when the colors are swatched out it gets a little duller so it's not as bright as it would be when it's in its pure form pure wax pigment form and uh yeah i actually appreciate this but one thing i didn't appreciate when i was swatching this and this is a part of my first impression was the crumbs there was actually a lot of wax dust after um swatching these out and so i actually had to brush it off you can still see some wax dust here why I didn't brush it off as yet. See, there's some wax dust here. So yeah, these are just the wax dust that are made remain. And I think that has to do with the softness of the core. So yeah, I'm looking forward to working with these. I'm looking forward to playing around with these a little more, get a little more familiar with these, and then uh, bring these to you when I'm more familiar. And I have a little more, more information on, on these than usual all in all guys this is a great set i found it at my local art and stationery supply store i will be putting that in the in my description so if you 
want if you're living in a country with this you can go right to that store and buy it or if i can find it online on amazon i will be bringing that link to you also in the description so if it's a set that you're interested in you can get it there as well thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and as always stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one bye